Hello everyone. Welcome to Crystal Cove State Park. Thank you everyone for joining us here today. Hello everyone. My name is Francesca Henderson and I am an interpreter here at the park. Um, today, as you can see, we are floating live out here in the Pacific Ocean. And today I'm joined by a very special guest here next to me. Hello. Hi, my name's Bob Dolan. I'm a lifeguard and a state park peace officer here at Crystal Cove State Park. And today we're here to introduce you guys and give you an exciting view of our park. As you can see, we are out on the Pacific Ocean. The hills in the distance behind us is our state park, Crystal Cove. You can see the trails going up into the backcountry. We've got a three mile stretch of beach here. We're currently at the southernmost border of Crystal Cove. You can see up towards the distance um, is a city called Newport Beach. So we're due south of Newport Beach. And the conditions are pretty nice out here on the water today. We've got a little bit of fog, slight wind. And today we're gonna to talk to you guys um, a little bit about water safety. We'll talk about wildlife and we're here to take any of your questions. Hello, Deborah D from Michigan. Thanks for joining us in California today. So I'm gonna turn it over to our lifeguard um, to introduce us to some water safety tips for people that might be visiting the beach. Okay, hi guys. We're just gonna go over some basic uh, beach safety rules. Um, number one, never come to the beach alone. You never wanna swim alone or go to a wildlife area and be by yourself. It's always great to have fun and have company and be safe that way. Um, please always swim in front of the lifeguard. Before you enter the water, talk to the lifeguard. Ask about surf conditions, water temperature, currents, rip tides, anything like that would be very important. It's also important that you wear sunscreen. It's good to bring a hat. I don't have a hat on today. Eye protection is always good. If you're not going to bring food, always eat before you come. You're going to get real hungry after you're playing in the surf. Always bring some, some water to drink because you're going to get dehydrated in the sun and in the salt water. Another good thing to bring if you're going to come to the beach is get yourself a pair of swim fins. It really helps you swim. You can swim like Michael Phelps if you get some swim fins. As you can see today, I brought some flotation. If we're gonna be out on the paddle boards, you need to have flotation device. So I have the swim boot, I have the lifeguard buoy, and Francesca's wearing a life jacket. So always wear your Coast Guard approved life jacket if you're going kayaking or stand up paddling. Conditions can change quite fast. Okay, never overstep your boundaries. Know your limits. The ocean's a very dangerous place. So if you're not sure, if you're not a great swimmer, always stay super close to shore. Again, swim in front of the lifeguard. If you do ride the waves, make sure you keep your head up. Don't dive head first into the water when you're entering the water. When you enter the water, it's good to do the stingray shuffle, we call it. You shuffle your feet, like you're dragging them on the ocean floor, and that'll scare the stingrays away and keep you from getting stung. Very nice. Does anyone have any questions about water safety? Uh, we had a question earlier about sharks. And yes, of course, we are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean right now. This is where many shark species do live. Um, we're not too concerned about sharks in this area. We've got a lot of smaller sharks, like leopard sharks and horn sharks, um, that don't want to have anything to do with us humans. And someone was just asking, what was that stingray thing? So you want to describe the stingray shuffle for people again? The stingray is a species of, of ray and shark. It's about this size, the size of a frisbee. And it's got a tail that comes out behind it and it's got barbs on it. And the reason it has the barbs is to protect itself. It spends its whole life swimming on the sandy bottom looking for food to eat. And so when you come walking out onto the ocean and you step on it's just a defense mechanism. He's going to whip his tail up and hit you on the foot to get you off of him so he can swim away. Awesome. We just had a shout out from a lifeguard in Michigan. Thanks for joining us. I mean, Maryland. Thanks for joining us. Got lifeguards all over the U.S. Very, very important job, especially in the summertime around here. Um, and what about if someone wants to become a lifeguard here in California? How would they go about doing that? Okay, March 5th here at Crystal Cove next year. You can try out. Lifeguard tryouts will start at 9 a.m. Come prepared to swim. It's going to be a thousand yard ocean swim. 
You're also going to have to perform a run, swim, run, which is a 200 yard run down the beach, 400 yard swim, and another 200 yard run. So you're going to do lots of running and swimming and get in shape. Very cool. There's lots of jobs um, here within State Parks. It's a really great agency to work for. Um, if you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at parks.ca.gov um, to learn more about all the opportunities we have here. So we're not too concerned about sharks. Um, we're in pretty shallow right now. The water's not too deep. <laughs> no sharks coming right now. We're keeping an eye out for dolphins. If you see any fins, that's going to most likely be a dolphin because um, dolphins are mammals, so they'll be coming up to the surface to breathe. We do have lots of common dolphins that enjoy living here in the cove. We also get whales migrating through the park. Gray whales and humpback whales. The occasional blue whale comes through our park as well. These cliffs right up here behind us, Abalone Point, um, is a very popular roosting spot for a lot of our pelagic seabirds. We have black cormorants up on it right now. If I try and zoom in, there's a little bit of a glare. But as you see those white spots, that is the bird poop, also known as guano. Hello from Santa Monica. And the birds actually build their nest with their poop right along the rocks. So they've got a pretty amazing view out towards the ocean on these rocks. And as you can see, no humans can get out towards them. We do get surfers hanging out here by the rocks and body surfers. We got one on the inside over here. Pretty popular spot for boogie boarding and surfing. This is a great place to come to check out whales. You can see them from our bluff tops. Um, and they come, the mothers come from Mexico up with their young on their way migrating up to Alaska. Hello from Sweden. Hello from Turkey. Hi from Newport, our neighbors in Newport. We do not have any bald eagles here within the park that we've seen. I've seen a golden eagle. We've seen a golden eagle. Any other cool animals you've we seen? We also had a sea otter this spring. It was hanging out for quite a while and he was enjoying the lobster and the octopus and the tide pools. So he was very happy. He got very fat before he swam away. Very cool. Yeah, we had a southern sea otter and right now we are in Orange County in California. So we're between the cities of Newport Beach and Laguna Beach. So this is pretty far south for the sea otters. Hello, Año Nuevo State Park. Sea otters are more likely found um, up in central California, but their historic range was further down this way. And it was just one sea otter from as far as we could tell. So we haven't seen him around this summer, but we do have other agencies looking for it, Fish and Wildlife, um, in state parks, we have a team of natural resource managers that are monitoring all of our species. It is very nice out here. We want to welcome all of you to come visit Crystal Cove State Park. Hello, Angel Island. Also Hello, Francesca, Riverside. It's a great place for whale watching if you enjoy whale watching. I've been working here on and off since 1983, and I've seen the most number of whales and the number of species of whales this, this year that I've ever seen. I was seeing whales on a daily basis. I wow. counted as many as 21 in one day. Wow, that's amazing. And we have um, a lot of gray whales, which kind of made their way off of the endangered species list, which is a great conservation story out here. Um, they're fully protected in our waters. Also seeing some humpbacks and some blues too. Definitely. So we're actually currently in the middle of a marine protected area. Yes, we do have humpback whales. Um, and the goal of our marine protected areas here in California um, are to protect all species from plankton all the way up to the largest animals, our blue whales. So we have different zones um, which are protecting different species. Here at Crystal Cove, it's a state marine conservation area. Um, so some fishing is allowed. Um, we also obviously allow people to come recreate within our marine protected areas. So you go kayaking, surfing, take your boat, we have a question about beach training compared to inland sector. So that means probably lakes lifeguarding. Right, lake guarding. Lake guarding is completely different than ocean guarding. Lake guarding is one difficulty there is it's not salt water. So you sink a lot faster. And that's why they have a lot of drownings in lakes because the water it doesn't float, float the person as well as the seawater. Another difference is obviously you have to deal with surf and cold water in the ocean, especially trying out in March. It's going to be a little cool. 
probably around 60 degrees in the water. Whereas today it's more like 67 and it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, running in sand is a lot different if you're into running with shoes on on pavement. It's completely Definitely. different. You run bare feet on the soft sand. So you have to come to the beach and do a lot of training with that. And also talking more about the marine protected area. We also have the state underwater park goes 700 yards offshore from the high tide mark. Fishing is allowed, like she said. Uh, you have to have a license if you're over 16. Spear fishing is allowed, pole fishing is allowed, and lobster you can fish for in season, but you can only use your hands for lobster season. Lobster season goes from October through March. Very good information. Someone was asking, what is that? So a marine protected area um, is a special idea. California is kind of setting the bar high with uh, many marine protected areas up and down our coastline from Mexico to Oregon. Um, here in Orange County, um, we had one of the first marine protected areas um, and we're coming upon five years um, that these have been in place. So we're always constantly checking to see how the different species are doing within our protected areas. Also the tide pools is part of the marine protected area. So when you come down to, to look at the tide pools and look at all the wildlife in there, many invertebrates living in there, all kinds of sea life, um, sea anemones, abalone, octopus, but again, remember the only things you're allowed to take or touch are fin fish, lobster in season, and sea urchins. Like all the marine life in the tide pool, they're all protected, so you need to keep hands off, don't move them, or uh, take any of them. Good info, and we had someone who missed our intro asking us who we are again. So we both work for California State Parks. Bob is a permanent um, lifeguard. He is one of our state park peace officers. Um, so he is protecting our ocean and the back country. As you can see, our park extends about 2,000 acres back into the bluff tops here. So we've got trails that have beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean. And my name is Francesca and I'm an educator and interpreter here at Crystal Cove State Park. And he is very knowledgeable. How many years have you been working here at the park? Amazing. I at swimming pools, teaching swimming lessons. Very I'm cool. Very and when you first started working here, this beach looked much different, right? Yes, visitation looked like this pretty much every day. Nowadays in the summer, when you come down to the beach, every almost every bit of inch of sand will be taken up by somebody walking or laying on a towel or sitting. So school started yesterday for our districts here. Getting a little close to the shore. I might paddle out a little bit. <laughs> Let's see here. Take you guys for a little bit of a ride. I'm gonna paddle out. A little bit of a swell. We're expecting the swell to be building this week. Pretty fun spot to come and watch the surf. Question about wildlife. Um, our habitat here is the coastal sage scrub habitat. So we've got coyotes, we've got bobcats, we've got many different bird species, snakes, reptiles. Lots of rattlesnakes. <laughs> tarantulas. Tarantulas are just tarantulas starting to come out. Right yeah. Lots of so if you come out for a sunset hike. A lot of times the male tarantulas are coming out of their holes. Please, no fires. No fires are allowed in the park except for a gas barbecue or stove. So yes, we do have lots of sharks here in the Pacific Ocean. Lots of um, leopard sharks, which are a smaller shark like this, and it does have spots like a leopard, and it just likes to feed on the bottom, kind of like a catfish. And same thing with the sand shark, which is a sandy color, kind of like top of Francesca's board there. Same thing, it just cruises along the bottom, and it likes to eat small crustaceans like sand crabs and things like that on the bottom. Very cool. And there are mako sharks and blue sharks out deep through deeper waters, about four miles out. And I'm sure you've seen in the news that great baby great whites have been spotted, but uh, not very common. And horn sharks too, one of my yep, favorite species. Sharks. Nice point. 
Someone asked about foxes and really exciting news from our partners. Um, we border right up along the Orange County Wilderness area down in Laguna Beach and their trail cameras recently captured footage of a gray fox. Um, so we do have gray foxes within the area. We've yet to see them within our park, um, but there's no boundary fence or anything, so they could definitely be in this area. So we're gonna get ready to wrap things up here. If there's any last questions you have for us, please let us know. But I wanna thank everyone for joining us here at Crystal Cove State Park, one of the many beautiful parks here in California. We want to again invite all of you to come visit us down at the park. Um, and if you do visit us, we have a social media campaign with hashtag invent your adventure. So we want to see what you guys are doing out there this summer and this fall, um, which parks you're visiting and hashtag invent your adventure. Um, and be sure to follow us at CA State Parks on Twitter, um, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we'll give one last goodbye. I'll turn us out this way. Bye, Let's see if a selfie goodbye. Oh, finger. Thanks everyone for joining us. Have a great rest of your day.